Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of the John Morris Show. So this one, let's let's just go ahead and get right into this. I got a rather long comment from Rawl. Although that said, please do keep the comments and things coming. Like I said in the last episode, that really fuels what I'm doing here. So I don't want to let that slide, but let me get into this comment from Rawl. So he says, I can't thank you enough for this video. I've been a longtime listener for your show on and off for around three years, and I've been learning web development during that time. Back then, it was a struggle just to get uh, a grip with CSS, let alone JavaScript or PHP, but I've always loved the idea of being a freelancer, and I watched a lot of your early videos that gave basic principle tips on freelancing that I should have been applying. I spent hundreds of dollars on online courses over the years because I fell into a shiny object syndrome, and I became convinced that if I buy just one more course then I'll be good to go. I never touched most of those courses. I got to the point where I burned myself out trying to learn a, lo- a lot of things that really had no relevance to what I would have, should have been learning, which was my full stack. As a result, I had to take a year break from coding just to see if my efforts in a different field would work out better for me. Things didn't work out, but at the beginning of this year, I saw your Is PHP Dead video, and that video gave me the jump start I needed to get back into coding. I've already had Rob Percival's web dev course, so I told myself, F it, let me give this course a shot. But I knew I had to do things different this time, so now I'm doing my best to apply the slow is smooth, smooth is fast approach you described to coding, and it's been night and day. Now I'm in the PHP section, and while it's by, by no means easy, it doesn't feel as hard as it did years ago. Thank you, for, thank you for all that you do, John. I would not be where I am without your videos. All right, so I wanted to talk about this because he mentioned the the slow is smooth, smooth is fast approach, which I absolutely uh, you know promote, encourage all of that. But some of you may not have have seen that episode or that that video, and so I wanted to talk about that a little bit more. And and really, the first point that I want to make with this is I just want to say how much I can relate to this, and I think a lot of people can relate to this. I don't know how many times when I first started learning to code, I've, I've sort of recently talked about this. It took me four to five years just to learn PHP way back to my credit, way back in the day before all of this fancy Udemy and Linda and all that sort of thing. But it took me four to five years to learn just PHP. And that time was very, very frustrating. And I don't know how many times I stopped and started and 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 sort of gave up and restarted and all that sort of thing. And that's sort of, when it comes to my coding career, that's the biggest regret that I have was all of the different times that I stopped and gave up because it was just so much time that, that, that was wasted. And to be honest, that's sort of why I hammer this idea of persistence, because if you can get through those moments where you, you might make that decision to, to quit or to give up or do something else for a while, if you can just sort of press through those moments and not give up and not spend a year or however long doing something else, then you can continue down this path and actually probably get to where you want to be a lot faster than, you know, certainly a lot faster than I did. So again, I just, I really can relate to this and how much time it's wasted and, and, you know, how, how frustrating that can be. And, you know, this is part of why I hammer so hard on sort of the shiny new language know-it-alls that you find on Medium and Twitter and all these different places and telling you that this new language is the next best thing and you're a complete idiot if you're not using this or that language or whatever. That's sort of why I hammer on those people because the reality is is learning how to code is hard enough as it is. It takes enough focus. It takes enough energy and effort and all that. And then when you have all these people claiming all of these crazy things about all this new stuff that's constantly coming out, it's really easy to get distracted and lose focus. And that can be the thing more than... You know, a lot of times what we attribute it to is, well, maybe I'm not smart enough or maybe I'm not meant to do this or this or that or the other. Oftentimes it's just the distractions and all this noise that's going on around you that can be the thing that's throwing you off. And so when you can sort of just push that out of your life and get some focus and get some persistence, then oftentimes it can be a lot easier to get where you want to go. Things can happen faster. And so that's why I sort of make a point. It's really nothing personal. I just make a point. To, to make sure that you don't you know you don't have to listen to those people so uh, that that's sort of the first point that I want to make and by the way 
those of you listening to this here, if, if you get value from these episodes, I do want to, we're, we're adults here, so I do want to ask you directly to become a supporting listener of the show over on Patreon to allow me to continue to do this, to put this out for people, all of the comments and suggestions and everything that I can put out and help people through all of this. So again, you'll be helping support the show, but you're also going to get access to all of my past and future courses, you know, PHP courses, object doing programming, Upwork, all of that stuff you're going to get access to as a supporting listener on Patreon. So if you want to learn more about that, that's johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon. Of course, if you're not in the financial position to do that, I'd just appreciate if you would share my free coding tutorial site with someone you know who might be going through this, learning how to code, learning how to freelance, that sort of thing. Uh, the URL for that site is johnsfreetoots.com. So I'd appreciate if you'd share that. All right. So the second point that I want to make then is sort of this, what I call the military approach to coding. And that is this, this slow is smooth, smooth is fast idea. And this is something that when I was in the army, we talked about a lot. We talked specifically, we would talk about it when it came to what we call mount training, which was essentially clearing houses, doing sort of urban operations type stuff, but it really sort of applied across the board. And the idea was is that it's it's you've probably heard this, but it's not it's not practice that makes perfect. It's perfect practice that makes perfect. And so, when we were training any sort of new movement or skill or task or whatever, when you first started out learning it, you would go incredibly slow, slower than what sort of felt natural. And what you would do is you would focus on the very, very fine details and getting them perfect every single time that you did it. And then you would just train that over and over and over. And what sort of naturally happens is your muscle memory kicks in. And with time, you just sort of naturally speed up. And before you know it, you're going super fast. But because you've trained not trying to go fast and focusing on details and doing everything perfect every time you do it, you're not only going fast, but you're, you are executing it at a high level every single time you do it. So you're not making mistakes and so forth. And so it's sort of this same idea that, that you, you want to apply to coding. I've, I've sort of talked about this in the past. One of the reasons why I build the, my courses the way that I, I do is because I really try to dig deep into not only what to type, but why. And going into that does take more, more explanation, more sort of diving into it, more understanding on the part of the student, all that. And so it's harder at first. However, when you when you train those fundamentals at the start and you really dig into the why and start to understand that at a deeper level, then as you start to get to higher levels, those things become easier and easier because you have this sort of fundamental grasp of the details and of, of the sort of core of whatever language or skill you happen to be learning. And so, again, it's this idea of not trying to go too fast, not trying to learn everything so fast because you want to get a job, you want to start freelancing, you want to start doing all these things. I get it. There's a lot of pressure to do that, maybe even financial pressure to do that. But in the long run, what's actually going to be faster is you slowing down and you really focus on learning each piece in detail so that as you grow, then things become easier. And once that ball gets rolling, then it just sort of takes off. And so again, this is what I call the military approach to learning how to code, which is slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So you focus on taking your time, learning the details, and with practice, then that muscle memory will sort of kick in and you'll start to go fast and you won't even really know it. So that's the second sort of point that I wanted to make. The third one then is just, again, making sure that you have the right focus. And I think the slow is smooth, smooth is fast approach helps you with that because what starts to happen is you're focusing on sort of your own little your, your your own execution of the skill. You're not focusing on what everybody else is saying or I I have this end result down here. You're more focused on the process and so and you're focused on you getting better in your own eyes for yourself, not worrying about what other people think or what other people are saying. And you you are trying to beat your own standard. And if you just listen to, you know, athletes that that compete at really high levels, you're going to hear a lot of these to the point that we all almost call them cliche. But 
you'll find that the people that perform at a really high level tend to do these things. They focus on the process. They focus on setting their own standard, then beating that standard every day, all of these sorts of things. And so again, when you focus on going slow, learning and and trying to be perfect in what you're doing and really digging into the fine details, it gets you focusing on the right things, your own skill level in your own eyes, getting better at that and not worrying about sort of all of that outside noise. And that keeps you focused. And that can be, again, the most important thing that that you do to help you get where you want to go coding wise a lot faster than when you get sort of caught up in all of this noise. So Again, uh, it's it's ultimately about slow is smooth, smooth is fast, and having that really tight, uh, persistent focus and sticking through all of that stuff. So anyway, that's what I wanted to, to put out there today. When it comes to that, I read this comment, and I, I know a lot of you may have not seen that episode, and I think it's really, really valuable, so I wanted to share that with you today. Of course, the big thing with this is you don't need to do it all alone. I mean, you don't need to go out there and sort of figure this stuff all out all by yourself. There's tons of resources and stuff that are available today to help you along the way. A lot of good teachers and stuff out there that can help you with this. So don't be afraid to get that help and get those assists where you need it. Of course, if you want uh, access to a lot of the free stuff that I have, I have available. I've taken you know, lessons from some of my most popular premium courses, and I've put them over at johnsfreetoots.com. You can go over there, access those 100% free PHP, object oriented programming, Upwork. Uh, login script, a whole bunch of stuff over there. So again, if you want an assist from me and and you want to access that for free, you can do it at johnsfreetoots.com. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked the episode, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're on YouTube, make sure and ring the bell so you actually get notified. Also, links to past episodes, links to subscribe on the audio-only version of the podcast so you can listen to it in your car while you're working out, whatever. All of that you can find at johnmorrisshow.com. And finally, if you'll rate and review the podcast over on iTunes, I'll give you Module 1 of my PHP 101 course for free. All the details on that are at johnmorrisshow.com. Just click on the Start Here link at the top. And by the way, on that, I've got a lot of you that hit lately that have come through and left me reviews over there. So I was looking at it just right before I jumped on, and I just wanted to say thank you for that. So appreciate those of you have who have actually done that. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.